This is Annie Pogerian. Have you ever heard of dialysis? Or perhaps you may even know someone who has received the treatment. So dialysis is simply a way of filtering the blood of patients that have kidney disease. It requires an external machine to remove all the toxins and then return the filtered blood back to the patient. So a typical dialysis machine costs approximately $30,000 and the value of the prototype that you see here, that, which is my high school science project, is of $500. So I was inspired to do this project when I heard very shocking statistics such as this one. So 90% of patients living in India and Pakistan that need the treatment simply cannot afford this life-saving treatment. Um, for that reason, I decided to try to devise a more simple and highly affordable dialysis machine intended for use in the developing world. So I tried to make it as comparable as possible to a typical dialysis machine you would find in a hospital. So here, this is where the blood would come in. This is the hemodialysis tubing from where the blood will enter the prototype. So then here we have a peristaltic pump that will guide the blood towards the dialyzer. So once the blood is, exits the dialyzer, it is completely filtered and all that's left is to remove the air bubbles with the air bubble remover. After that, the blood re-enters the patient's body. On the other side of the prototype, there's a separate um, circuit here, which is the dialysate circuit. So dialysate is a liquid that's prescribed by the doctor that contains the adequate amount of electrolytes depending on the patient's quality of filtration. So what we're trying to remove are electrolytes such as potassium, magnesium, calcium, and urea and creatinine, which are all very toxic to the body in large quantities when the, the kidneys can't filter it out by themselves. So what happens is the dialysate, the liquid, enters this side of the prototype. Here we have an, a peristaltic pump identical to this one, and then the dialysate will then go into the dialyzer through here. Once the dialysate and the, di and the blood are both in the dialyzer, osmosis occurs, which is how um, dialysis is, per is performed. Alright, so given that the dialyzer, which is the filter, and the dialysate, which is the liquid that has the adequate concentration for filtration, are both components that are prescribed by the doctor, then it is safe to say that if the mechanism of the prototype works correctly, then the, the dialysis machine will filter the blood adequately. So this is the first prototype, um, and I'm building a second one at the moment, and I really hope that one day, with my, all my work that I've been doing, I can really actually benefit those who are in need all around the world. Thank you.